seller travel. Let's look at the website problem. There was somebody in California, an uh, attorney who's also a computer whiz, sees this law, goes on the site, right away picks up almost everybody, and sues about 150 travel agents. I represented about 30 or 35 of them or so. And had he been a little bigger, he would have had a, you know, given us a real problem. We crushed him, he went away. But he had a decent case because those people did not have registrations. And there's a law that says an individual can bring a private attorney general case and sue for damages. Dangerous. It may happen again. I don't want it to. But at the same time, for those of you who are in the corporate mode, you're from the larger companies, what happens if you get a cease and desist from the Attorney General because you didn't have this silly registration and the boss above you, the corporate, the venture capitalist, whoever is controlling you, says, why didn't you tell us about that? Nobody's really enforcing it. I am telling you, they are. And they're enforcing it against the ones who have the big money or just the ones they know about. They don't have time to just go out on their own and do it. But the Attorney General, the last couple have been beauties. Uh, you know, I get along with these guys, but they got to get a life. <laughs> and one of them was just in, not Bemidji, he was in uh, Minneapolis or somewhere. And he went back there, her family, you know, from there. And he's there for a couple of weeks. And every commercial he heard, everything he saw in the paper, he saved. And he came back to the office and, you know, had letters sent to him that didn't have this registration. I used to represent Carl Icahn. She tickets or something. Cheap tickets. And there was a big billboard right by LAX for cheap tickets. And the attorney general would drive by it and didn't see a CSD number on California Stellar Travel. And, you know, contacts them. And I would phone up and, you know, Carl Icahn, pretty strong eyes, just write, you know, graffiti it on if you have to. But this guy drives by that every day and was going to make every day another violation. Television. I, you know, there's another company here that's involved with a tour operator. Yeah, a little television ads there that didn't put it on. CST means California Seller Travel. To show you how silly the law is, if you write California Seller Travel Number 444-20, that's against the law. Because if you use the words California Seller Travel, you must then put a disclaimer that says the Attorney General does not say that he approves of this. Whoa, I'm, I'm telling the consumer, no, all you got to do is CSD, which nobody understands, and then you're legal. Common sense, not in the industry. So you can give me examples. My, my advice is if you are in California and you haven't heard about the law yet, it's on everything but the toilet paper. <laughs> the vouchers, the itineraries, put it on. Your business card, put it on because the Attorney General may just get a copy of something without it. I represent some of the multi-level marketing, direct marketing companies or so. That much they know. They may not be too happy with the deceptive advertising parts, but they put CSTs on everything. And at least it stops that first wave of automatic liability. Where's it got to go? On your website? Up front. Has it got to be the front page? I don't know. You know, it's supposed to. But as long as you have it prominent up front, you know, you don't have a problem with uh, Depending on what you're doing, do we have any other states that have laws? Uh, yeah, we have Florida, we have Hawaii, we have Iowa, Nevada, Washington, Virginia. But they're not the pain in the necks that California is. Who enforces this? Iowa. Anybody from Iowa? You, you've got a more active force there. Yeah, and I, you know, for all 12 people or so, you know, they really... <laughs> <laughs> You know, they've got a hell of a law there. It's got to be registered or so. And I get my big boy's gun, and they said, Iowa. You know, who's telling you that? I don't know. I just registered. 
you know, leave it alone, I'll register everybody on it. But the only one who pushes this internet is really California. Some of you may be attorneys. Uh, some of you have relatives, friends, significant others. You're going to go back and say, you know, this now it says they're, they're enforcing it over in Europe. It's called a long arm statute. Normally, you can't do it. You've got to show due process. California doesn't care because they send a big company a warning that unless you register within, you know, X days, or you're not supposed to be doing business for the next 10 days after you register, cease and desist. Nobody has challenged it. I think the law is unconstitutional. But my clients say, look at it, it's going to be 500 bucks to register it. And you can get me out of the big fines, you know, sh sh go ahead, register it. You know, $100 a year, you know, register this situation. 